Hey, we moved to Mexico. Uh, come with us to go do some laundry. We're bringing our dirty laundry in a suitcase in this backpack. We're gonna wash laundry for the first time in 10 days. We're in our apartment for the next two weeks. We're here for one month total. I think I'll give a tour though, right after we come back from laundry because it's about to get cleaned. Then I can give a tour as if it's like brand spanking now. a cafe because it's gonna take 40 minutes for our laundry to wash. I like that we could just leave it there though. I hope our suitcase and Cotopaxi bag are there when we're back. <laughs> we're gonna try out a new cafe that we saw a few days ago that looks pretty good. So we're here and it's, it's closed. So we're gonna go back to another spot I think that we went to the other day that we really like. Super Bowl Sunday. Play wings. Do we even know who's playing? Uh, it's uh, it the uh, Rams. Oh yeah. The, uh, uh, was it Chiefs or something, or was that the game where they lost? Rams and Chiefs. Either way, we're Team Rams, right? Sure. Just because Dylan, my uncle, is obsessed with the Rams. Rams and the Bengals. Oh. It's funny because I wanted to say tigers. That is basically what it is. Bengal tigers, right? Yeah, not tigers because that's not its team. I was imagining a tiger in my head. I had this friend, Riley, in like third grade who was football obsessed and I would go play like flies up with the boys at recess mm -hmm. instead of like hanging out with the girlies because I was such a tom girl or whatever. Tomboy, pick me girl, tomboy, same thing. Anyways, I tried to impress him with telling him that I like the Rams and that I love the Rams because Dylan was living with us and he was obsessed with the Rams. And he was like, you don't know anything about football. And I was like, yeah, I do. The Rams have had a really good season. <laughs> He's like, wait, they have. But like, how do you know that? <laughs> it's not possible. It was funny. So I'm always Team Rams. So we're Team Rams for the Super Bowl. Sure. Our timer just went off for laundry. And we don't have our drinks yet. It's fine. It's fine. We have our golden milk. And you got a latte. Uh -huh. And here comes the bread. Go. Gracias. Yeah. Yum. So last time we were here, I got this golden milk latte, and it's super good, that's why I got it again. And then this time, I'm trying a cacao muffin. But the last time we were here, the guy recommended these breads, and they were really good. I'm not really like a pastry girl. It's so good. So that took a little bit longer than expected. <laughs> Always does. I hope they're not mad at us or anything. Who? The laundry people. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think we just go back there, tell them to charge us the extra and have them do it. I just feel bad that she, she like moved the laundry and everything over to the different washers for <laughs> us. She like provided the soap. Well, we, we bought the soap from her. Yeah, but she provided it. So maybe we do just feel like, pay yeah. her for doing it. Oh yeah, I feel like we said, oh, we'll do it. And then she just had to do it anyway. And I, I, like, oh. I'll bet we go back there right now and she just switched it over. She's like, yeah, after an hour, I just put it in the dryer for you. <laughs> now I need a lot of water. I can't really have sweets in the morning, but it was so good. I love that cafe. I'd go back there again. I want to try the other place. But the other cafe is only open at three, which is weird to me that a cafe for coffee and tea opens at 3 p.m. I don't know, but I guess we'll have to try that one of these other days. <laughs> but what a beautiful day. I love these streets so much. They're just so green and very walkable. Like we're in such a great part of town. I haven't even said where we are. We're in Guadalajara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. We're about to pass this fish place that we went to like our first or second day here. And it's so good. Wait, but it's closed right now. Life's just funny. It's like, you know, nothing's ever open all the time. You know, some days it's closed. Some days it's closed early. Half the time it's not even the same as the hours that they post online. <laughs> very much like we're open when we're open but it's okay because if something's closed and you were expecting it to be open you can just walk to 10 other options <laughs> in a few minutes it's so nice we almost just walked right past it cool yeah. How do you 
you say keep the change? Uh, I don't know what the right way to say it is, so I just said the change is yours. <laughs> but how did you say it in Spanish? El cambio es tuyo. El cambio es tuyo. But that's probably not how you're supposed to say it. Wow, time for a tour. Okay, so they just cleaned our Airbnb because every 10 days we get a cleaning. So I'm gonna do a quick little Airbnb tour while everything's clean and put away. So this is the entrance. The door is right behind Sam who's recording. And then you walk into one of the two rooms. This is the living area kitchen and dining room. It's also our office floor here. We work at this table, which is so nice. And actually this couch is like a futon that turns into another bed, but we really like it as a couch and it's way more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be, especially for working. So that's fine. And then we have this plant, which is beautiful. <laughs> and then come follow me over here. There's a, a bookshelf, which I don't think any either of us have touched any of these books yet. But I do think I'm going to leave a book here because I finished The Glass Castle and I don't really want to lug it around Mexico. So I think I'm going to leave it here for the next people. And here we have a pantry. So it has like cleaning supplies and stuff. Except we moved the pantry that's in here to make it our closet. I'll show you that in a second. Um, then we have another pantry up here for like dishes, mini fridge, microwave. We get water jugs for clean water. We have a stove that we've never used, dishes, all that. I really love this because not only is it a giant window, but it's like a, a door. So it opens up all the way, which is so nice. And this isn't much of a patio, but that's okay because we have another patio. Hi, I'm going to work. Where are you from? Utah. Utah? Uh-huh. Uh, Salt Lake? Yeah, where are you from? New Orleans. I love New Orleans. Yeah, it's cool, Sam comes ahead. <laughs> okay, so we had a little, um, I was gonna say detour. A little interruption. We just met our neighbor. That's the first person that we've like met here. Yeah. So that was nice. <laughs> He's from Nolens and he lives here. Um, anyways, so that door opens so you can hang out there and meet and talk to new people. And then you come this way. And then we have the bedroom. This is like the only other room. This is the pantry that we took out of the closet in the kitchen and we turned it into our closet. So we just have a bunch of like packing totes. So we figured this would make sense because there is no other closet. So I hope they're not mad at us for that, but it's fine. So this is the bedroom. This is the bed. The bed is small. I think it's a full. It's not even a queen, but it's okay because we like to snuggle. And then over here we have some shelves. This was a huge reason why we picked this Airbnb because it has like this huge desk workspace, but I don't think we've spent one day working here. We just work in the kitchen. Yeah, I think the Wi-Fi just does not good in here. Yeah, and we have two windows, we have this TV. And then over here we have a cute little corner with a blanket. But then we have this patio, which I love. This was like another selling point in this Airbnb was this. So we have these two chairs, which apparently there wasn't chairs here until like a month or two ago. Which is a patio, so I'm glad they have chairs because we like coming out here just to sit. And there's obviously a bunch of plants. I didn't realize that this is a lime tree, but look, there's a lime. I don't know if I should pick it or not, but there's a lime here. I'm just gonna let it keep growing. It's so nice to come out here and just enjoy a drink, come read. I come journal out here some mornings. It's great. Just come back in. And then the last thing, the last thing to show you is the bathroom, which is over here. And it's a pretty nice bathroom. I love this huge window. Bathroom, I mean toilet. Got a pretty good mirror over here with a sink. This is the closet that it came with, which is not much. So we hang up like some totes and some shirts here, but obviously we can't fit all of our clothes. Put our bathroom stuff here and some closet stuff. And the shower, I don't understand why they put the shower on, the shower door on this side instead of this side but it's whatever. And the shower's nice. It's very spacious. You have like a, what is this called? A rainfall shower head? Mm -hmm. Something like that and then a little shelf. And we've had plenty of hot water and no issues. So it's great. And that's it. That's our Airbnb. I'm very happy with it. And our next Airbnb is gonna be a little bit smaller, but I honestly don't feel too cramped in this space. I love the outdoor patio. I love this table. We really love this futon. This was like the biggest surprise of it all. I did not think that this futon was gonna be comfortable or used ever. So now that that's done, we're gonna go pick up our laundry. One thing that I love about our Airbnb is that there's 24 seven security downstairs, which is so nice, which I didn't realize the first two nights. The first two nights I was a little bit anxious. And then I realized, oh, there's literally like two locked doors to get into the Airbnb place and then a security guard and cameras everywhere. The doors are like giant vault doors. <laughs> yeah, it's just so safe. Gives me lots of peace of mind.
back with our suitcase of laundry and our backpack of laundry and I feel like Victoria Paris bringing a suitcase of dirty laundry around town but we're not in New York it's the only difference we're a bit concerned that it looks like some clothes have shrunk and we even didn't we get the less amount of time no we got extra time oh Huh. All right, we'll see how this how this goes. I'm gonna try on some pants to see if they still fit. Oh, they're so warm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they fit, but they don't feel like crazy tight or anything. Nice. I mean, these are workout pants, like leggings. Yeah. They work great. See, this is good for me because my jeans will stretch out and I like when the waistband gets tight again. Mm -hmm. They feel so warm, I love them. I don't understand why they don't just make bras with padding like sewn into it because every time I do laundry, these come out and then I have to put them back in. It's just stupid. I love that I'm here with a man like you, like my husband, because then I'm way less scared to like talk to people or meet them. <laughs> like if that guy was trying to talk to me, I would have just given him every single lie in the book about how long I'm here <laughs> and what I'm doing and what I do for work. Meet <laughs> anyone at like yeah perceived. perceived. this next part i'm probably not really gonna be looking over here too much if that's okay sorry about that i guess i'll explain to you first i have some pretty long hair and unfortunately i don't really take too much time to like do anything with it which is a shame but i also think that it's this long and healthy because i never touch it with heat or anything the worst i do is bleach it right now so i got a crimper like a deep wave crimper and i've wanted one for like a year and i don't know why i didn't do this sooner but i want to see what my hair looks like crimped this is the before i guess I'm going to brush out my hair first and then just section it off and go for it. My shoulder hurts so bad. What did I just do? Ow. 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 Did I pop it? What the f*** did I just do to my arm? My shoulder hurts really bad. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just going to pretend my shoulder's not hurting. I don't know. I typically start in the back, but I think for the sake of this video to show you what it looks like, I'm going to start in the front. And I think this is how I... I have no idea. Oh, I just burned my ear. I think that worked. And then now do I have to like line up the crimps or do I start lower? Whoa. Maybe I should not hold it that long. Okay. Just fry my hair off. I hate when you see the smoke when you're using a hot tool. I feel like my hair's going to burn like that one video that we all know of that girl burning her bangs or whatever. Oh my gosh, it looks like a noodle. This back section looks a little bit different than the front. I think I'm gonna leave my ends out. I don't think I like the look of the crimped ends. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of ends to leave out. I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, it probably wasn't a good idea to start off with the front piece because if it looks really bad, like it kind of does, it kind of looks like a poodle, then it's like the front piece. So it's like what you see when you look at my face. I also don't know if I'm supposed to be like matching up the crimps and like going into the, I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Like, do I match up? Like, see how there's a dip? Do I like start where that dip is or do I just go below and start a whole new dip? Because this seems like a lot of dips to me, like the crimps. So I kind of want a more spaced out. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And see, that seems like a more reasonable amount of like end to leave out. So maybe I don't go into the grooves. I don't know. I also don't know if there's a difference between holding it like this or flipping it upside down. Okay, hold on, that one way too long. Oh yeah, look at all that smoke. 
This side of the first layer is done and it's looking all right. It's looking all right. I honestly feel like I could split my hair into so many more layers because it's so thick. I should probably have four layers, not two. Even though I split halfway right here, I end up splitting this again and do like this layer and then the bottom layer. And I do the same thing with the top. And they're like sideways because I'm holding it this way instead of flat. Like I'm pressing buttons here. What does this do? Oh, that's the on and off button. Yeah, that's cool. I really honestly hate the look of an Apple Watch. I feel like it's so just cringy to have like, especially on your ring hand. I've never liked this look, but you know what I really like is my Apple Watch and like being able to track my steps and everything every day. See, like that's that's a good amount of end. But I always hate looking at it like in a mirror. I feel like it makes my arm look so much more like masculine or something. Do you know what I mean? See, this is the perfect amount of ends to have out. This one's good. I, I'm proud of how this one went. This looks a little bit weird down here. Oh, that just burned my ear. You know what I really hate is I have like my dad's hairline. <laughs> it's like a widow's peak kind of. Like my hairline just goes back right here. I think most people do. But with the way that I get my hair dyed, I almost feel like it emphasizes like when it's dark right here, I feel like it makes you look at this spot of my face more. I just don't like it. I've literally been considering going full bleach blonde for this because I hate it so much. But I like how my current hair, I just have like full highlights. I like how it grows out and that there's like some dimension because there's still some brown in the blonde. I don't know. I've been considering just bleaching my whole head. I've been so scared too. Instead of just doing like the full highlight situation. Wow, that came out so wavy. I literally look like pasta noodles. I follow uh, Hello Teffy on TikTok. I freaking love her. And she just bleached her hair and dyed it pink, like a hot pink. And it looks so good. Good, that I'm like I kind of want to do that but I also know I like you have to have like the wardrobe to have pink hair you know what I mean like you have to have really cool clothes and lots of options because when you have hot pink hair you need to match like your whole outfit to it and I'm just I don't I'm not there yet but I've, I've been considering going pink I mean even right now pink would look cool with how much blonde I have in my hair see I don't really like how that one turned out and now my two like front pieces look kind of funny but it's fine see, now what's tricky is I have to like keep this section kind of together so sometimes I put it like in a hair tie or in the clip so that it, it's separate from the hair that's not done yet but I know which hairs I have to do and my top layer is thicker than the bottom layer oh my gosh my shoulder bro oh my gosh did I just pop it back in <gasps> uh it still kind of hurts but there was a little pop did you hear that oh no that still hurts my hand is starting to cramp. The worst part about doing your hair. This is going way faster than I thought it was gonna go. I thought this was gonna be like a two hour ordeal, but it's probably like a one hour thing. Hi. You need to pee? Do you wanna pee on camera? No, not really. Sam had to come in and pee and he didn't wanna pee on camera. Honestly, I feel like I'm messing up these top pieces the most, so looking forward to that. Oh man. Oh, I feel like I just messed it up. Oh my gosh, I don't think this is going very well. We'll look at that later. Okay, this side's done. I should have watched way more tutorials before I did this, I think. I also think I'm used to my hair not taking on a curl or a crimp very easily. Like I have to curl my hair basically twice to get it to stay curled and even then it'll be flat by the end of the day. But I think now that I've bleached my hair, I think it holds the curl or the crimp much quicker and much better because it's dead. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my right side is turning out better than my left. So I have a little bit of hope. But my left side is my good side for photos, so. Am I supposed to get photos of this on the right side or on the left? Oh, that did not turn out very well. I spoke too soon. <gasps> See, that's what it's supposed to be. Of course, I'm on like my fourth to last piece and now I'm like, yeah, that's what it should look like. Look at how seamless that looks where there's not like this extra bump right here. Look at that, another beautiful piece. This is what they're supposed to be looking like. Last piece is done. Not gonna lie, feeling a bit like George Washington. Look at this piece too. That is not good. <laughs> okay, so this is my hair crimped. It looks like a wig from a founding father. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of cute. It's kind of just a lot. Oh, uh, I don't know if I like this. I think it just needs to like tone down a bit probably. I don't know if I have the right layers for this. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I don't know, I don't know. Let's go get Sam's reaction. 
Wow. What do you think? It looks good. Really? I look like a founding father. Okay, so maybe we should tell you why we're in Mexico. To make a long story short, we had plans to move to Hawaii in January and Sam was going to transfer to University of Hawaii. He got accepted there, but between COVID and all the shutdowns and everything that's going crazy, there were just a lot of red flags about moving to Hawaii. So we had those plans to move over there and Sam was gonna take off this semester for us to spend the semester like moving there. And then we decided that we weren't gonna move to Hawaii, but we still really wanted to be somewhere during these few months. I get really bad seasonal depression in Utah. I have avoided winter in Utah so many years, like starting from 14, 15 years old. I try and do something to get out of Utah, whether it's out of state or out of the country. We knew we wanted to be somewhere warmer, just better weather so I can be outside and enjoy the sun. Mexico has been pretty vocal and we've been checking in a lot about like their COVID situation and they've been pretty vocal about like not shutting down like they did 2020 pandemic. So we felt like this was a safe place to go to where we could still walk around Around. There's still COVID precautions like wearing masks and sanitizing. I've always wanted to focus more on my Spanish. I only know a little bit. Sam used to be pretty fluent, but he's pretty rusty now. So we both wanted to learn more Spanish. We figured instead of moving to Hawaii and instead of staying in Utah for the worst of the winter, that we would just pick up and go to Mexico. And cost of living is actually cheaper down here. We got Airbnbs for similar to what we're paying in Utah for rent. Food is a lot cheaper down here. And then obviously like Wi-Fi and utilities and stuff are included with Airbnb. So we decided why not and to come down here. I stayed in Mexico a few years ago with my friend in Sayulita and we met some people there and then at a hostel and in both those places that we stayed at so many people talked about Guadalajara and there was all these digital nomads and backpackers that were like Guadalajara is the place to go don't skip it so I've had that in my mind for a few years when we decided we'd be down here for at least a few months I knew that we wanted to spend some time in Guadalajara I also have a few friends that I met in Bali at like a co-working place that I still keep in touch with they are also in Mexico City and they were raving about Mexico City and saying that we have to go check out Mexico City. So we spent January packing up like our whole lives into a storage unit. And then we came down here February 1st. We're in Guadalajara for the month of February. In March, we're gonna be in Mexico City. And then we were thinking we'd do Mexico City again in April, but now I'm kind of teetering on the fence of like going somewhere closer to the beach. But yeah, we're here for the next three months at least. We don't really have a return date set yet. We have a few options for what we're gonna be doing this summer. There's a possibility we're moving to California or there's there's a possibility we either like stay in Mexico or continue Airbnb hopping. So anyways, that's kind of the update. We wanted to get out of Utah, have some fun new experience, but the main reason we're here is just to be in better weather and then focus on work. So our days here are not spent like doing a bunch of touristy things, like we're here working, which I was working from home anyway, so things aren't really that much different. I'm just not in a basement apartment in the winter in Utah, able to go like walk to lunch and be out in the sunshine. I love living in other countries, and learning about like their cultures and just experiencing what it's like to actually live somewhere not just visit and go on like a vacation or stay in a resort. So this is kind of always the plan. We've always planned on traveling throughout most of our marriage. COVID did change a couple of things and then Sam being in school does change a couple of things in terms of us being able to be like nomads. It's been so great so far. We found so many awesome restaurants and cafes and there's so many places that are very easily walkable around here. I felt comfortable enough to go on runs. It's just been really awesome. I'm very grateful. We're very privileged and blessed to have the opportunity to work from home and be here. That's the update on why we're here and how long we're here for. We are gonna head out now to grab, we're gonna go to a supermarket, which we haven't been to a supermarket since we've been here. We keep searching grocery store or market and nothing's coming up. So we're like, there's no market around here, but Sam figured it out. We need to search supermarket. I put my hair in a ponytail because it still like needs to die down, I think a little bit. We've eaten out every single meal since we've gotten here, which honestly has not been like that expensive. But we We've also mostly been eating out like one big meal a day, you know, and just like not really having breakfast. I'm excited to go grab a few things so that we can start eating some meals here. One of my favorite things that I ate in Guatemala, which was like most of my meals, was either a tostada or a tortilla with like refried beans and some guac or avocado and then maybe some salsa or pico. We're gonna go get like tortillas and beans and we have a bunch of avocados we need to eat. So we're gonna start eating a few meals at home. I think almost every time we go out to eat though, we go out as soon as everyone's like taking their seat Fiesta, so it's like dead, which is kind of nice. It's not crowded. We've talked about getting a dog in Mexico and bringing it back to the United States. So I think it might be a little bit complicated. Only because we're not bringing it back to like a place. I just don't know where we're going to be living if we next. If an apartment in the United States, it would be complicated. Yeah. 
we're in the grocery store and I think we have too much stuff to carry home but we're trying to keep it small. We're just grabbing some ingredients and stuff and checking out what else they have here. We tried to find this taco place a few days ago and it has so many good reviews and has like veggie tacos and stuff since I don't eat meat and we came here and it was just closed down but it is that place so we came to the right place uh -huh. and now we came to check in on it because it's right next to the market and it's popping so I say we grab some sure let's try it wow this is like the hot spot we made it back now we're gonna try the tacos that place was busy which is a great sign I just got two Tacos, wait, so it comes with more tortillas. Oh my gosh, and it's still freaking hot. Oh, this is yours. Huh. Unless we got our orders wrong. Who do you think we did? It's okay, we have extra of these and I can have some of your beans, yeah? yeah. So I just got a bean taco. Well, this is the, what's it called? Enfrijolada. Enfrijolada. Let's cut up some lime. Um, wrong one. Really? Yep. I sat there and thought about it for a second. Don't think about which way the veins of uh, juice are going. Through them. So this is the wrong way. I was thinking you want that, but that's probably not what you want. Yeah, the other veins of juice? Uh-huh. None of them are cut through. Probably fine. I mean, there still works. Awesome! Oh my gosh, it's still so hot. I love these tortillas so much, like fresh made tortillas, and they're just thick. Did I just cut my thumb? Pinky thumb? My pinky thumb? I'm in my pinky. Small thumb? Yeah, my little thumb. The place downstairs plays really good music. I like having our windows open because of the fresh air, and then I do not mind hearing their music. It's just really good. It's only like two hours after we got home, and we need to put away the groceries now. Go grocery haul. We have tostada, popcorn, tahin for our fruit, some more limes, some refried beans, or tacos and tostadas. Tortillas, an onion. Oh, and I forgot about these. I'm so excited. I got a few peaches. Honestly, I should probably film a TikTok doing a grocery haul. So I'm just gonna put it all back. Why why? This lighting is amazing. Right now we're doing very important work. I'm eating a bean taco while Sam is putting together our yearly list of movie marathons. We go through movie marathons, what, the past three years we've been married. Like Harry Potter, Marvel, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Twilight. We've done Avatar once. We've done The Office twice now. Yeah, The Office is way too big for a yearly thing. Yeah. That's like that's, every- Well, because like, it was three years since we'd watched it. Yeah, it's like every three or four years. It was almost four years. Yeah. We're trying to put together now, well, Sam's starting a Google Doc. So we've got six so far. To see if we should do one every month. And, and Marvel is really like. Marvel is like a two, three month commitment, bro. Yeah, Marvel is really also kind of too big to be on this list every year, but you know, maybe half of the movies are good enough to watch every year. We could have like a every two year list. Batman and Avatar are two of our next contenders. Yeah. The new Batman comes out in a, a month. Yeah, but I think Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy is really the only ones that is going to be like a yearly marathon. What else belongs on here? There's seven. You put Twilight on there? Yeah, I put Twilight on there. That's so fun to watch, like just to make fun of it. <laughs> Avatar is like my favorite movie. It's not a series though. Yeah, it kind of feels like it though. <laughs> yeah, because it's so long, it's but I like, love it. It's like an all day thing, it feels like. I'll watch it every year. Well, it's... <sighs> I mean, haven't they been meaning to come out with? Every year I'm like, they say they're coming out with it this fall or this December, and then they never do. The number two or three. Yeah, it's been like five years of like, there's gonna be five more no, Avatar movies. I literally think it's been longer. It's been like almost a decade. Then, like, why is it what, taking so what long? What did they do with their money? It like, see, it says December 16, 2022. Every year it says like December this year. And I'm like, it's this year, it's this year. And then it never is. I get let down every single time. So supposedly number two is gonna come out this December, and then number three is gonna come out the 22nd of December 2024. Sure. The day we deliver Avatar 2, we'll start working on finishing Avatar 3. Will be 3. the day that pigs fly. I know. <laughs> It'll be right after Armageddon. And they even made a Disney ride about the movie that they've been stringing everyone along for. Like they made a whole world out of one movie, uh -huh. which is amazing and it's beautiful. But then they're not even gonna give us Avatar 2 or 3. The people who ca are casted in it are literally gonna be a decade older. He was already like 35. Sorry, our actors died of old age before we could make this movie. Literally. We casted them young. Like what the hell? Avatar's always trying to push the envelope, 
So maybe they're like, we didn't want to do artificial aging, so we just decided it would take 10 years to make the movie because that's how long the plot line is. <laughs> to naturally age 10 years. Yeah. To, to shoot the final scenes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing Grace died in the first one because she would be, she was like 60 filming that one. Mm -hmm. And then she dies at the end. She's even alive now? I think so. Well, now then this thing says that the budget's 1 billion shared with second, fourth, and fifth film. Avatar 3, Avatar 4, and Avatar 5? That's what I'm saying. They were like, yeah, we're gonna make four more movies. So like, what? I mean, I understand COVID, but like, shouldn't they have sh filmed it? I don't know. That's what I thought. Like when I would read little blogs, it would say that like they had filmed a lot of it, but because the animation is so crazy that it takes like two years of animation to get the movie up and running or ready. I don't know. It's, it's really like, pissing me <laughs> off, bro. Their budget's not even going to be worth a billion dollars by the time they come out because of inflation. <laughs> you know, it's like... Wait, is the girl who plays Natiri the same girl who plays Guardians of the Galaxy? His girlfriend, the green one? Gamora. Uh-huh. I don't know. I think it's the same act. It's Gamora. Gamora is Natiri. Okay, well, I'm just pissed. They've just been gaslighting us. Holy cow. Do you want to guess what number one is? Number one movie? Number one movie series, top grossing. Number one movie, top grossing. Movie series. Movie series, top grossing. Grossing meaning it made the most money? Yes. At probably box office. Probably excluding merchandise. Harry Potter? Ooh, that's not even top two. <sighs> Lord of the Rings? Star Wars. That's top two, but not top one. Should be obvious. I don't know. Which one has the most movies? Oh, is it freaking Fast and Furious? That has a million movies. Yeah, 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 but it but doesn't But that's have, not good. It, it doesn't, doesn't have as many well. movies as the number one one. I don't know. I'm gonna go, oh, duh. It's Marvel like Cinematic one. Universe. Oh, bullshit, yeah, okay. By double the next one. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. And then Star Wars. 18 Billy. Eighteen b -b 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 billy. billy. And then you were right on number two, Star Wars. Nine point three billy. Number three? Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah? Nine point one. Just a smidge under the Star Wars series. Hell yeah. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have guessed number four. And you haven't guessed it yet either. You probably won't guess it. We're not a fan of these movies. Fast and Furious. No, I told you I guess it. Uh, James Bond. Wow. Did yeah. I guess it? Yeah. Seven b -b -b -billion. billion. Okay, number five. Did I guess it already? Yeah. Fast and Furious. And it's on our list. Um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, number six, X-Men, and then it's Fast and Furious, <laughs> number seven. I have never seen a Fast and Furious movie, and Me I never either. intend to. Me neither. It's part of our wedding vows. Come get us, haters! <laughs> then Jurassic Park, DC, Extended Universe, Spider-Man. Oh, that's it. Spider-Man's number ten. How much of that $880 million do you think Tom Holland gets? You know, I don't think he's hungry. Well... Yeah. I don't think he's hungry ever again. And he's dating Zendaya, so even if he never worked a day in his life, he'll never go hungry. Yeah, I mean, ever. listen, he got three movies that grossed hundreds of millions of dollars from Disney, you know? he's He has more money than matters. And he was on Broadway. Did you know that? That's where he started his movie career? Yeah, I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried. I'm just curious what, what he makes. Yeah. Honestly, we can Google it. How much? Does, um... well, the real the real question is how much does he make from like merchandise royalties? <gasps> oh yeah. So he earned five hundred thousand dollars for his first Spider Man in twenty sixteen. Then one point five, then four mil. So, Good for him, bro. Yeah. How old is he? Like twenty two, twenty one. He's twenty five. If you can earn five million dollars by the time you're twenty five, then. You know, either you, you'll never be hungry again in your life and you'll always have a roof over your head or you're an idiot. I've only got three more years. Barely, I have two more years. I gotta uh, learn how to act. Hmm. What, you wouldn't support me in an acting career? Of course I would support you, but that's not what you need to do. I want to make five million dollars in no, the next year. There's definitely easier ways to make five million dollars. Being the star of one of the largest grossing movies of the year. Fair enough. We do have connections though. And I don't think you've ever really had a passion for acting. No, I'm not particularly Those good at two it. things combined kind of make me think. Why don't it's not, you act? You're good at it. I don't like it. But for money, you don't like yeah, any I mean, other job. Yeah, maybe I right? could be a one in a million Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>